Candida. Candida albicans in particular. Do you know that Candida has three morphological states? Now, these three states are quite scary. First, it starts off as the common yeast form, which many of you are familiar with. But in, in immunocompromised individuals, people going through cancer treatment, chemotherapy, or whatever, there's two other states that have, can evolve, which make Candida lethal. It's called the Hypha or Hypha state. I want to say Hypha like high five. What's called the pseudo Hypha state. I'm going to use Hypha because it's easier. And a Hypha state. Now, what the Hypha, pseudo Hypha, and Hypha state entail or mean is that the Candida begins to form filaments inside the body and the tissue, so to say, making it very tough for the immune system to unroot, literally like a tree. In fact, so much so, it actually begins to avoid a large portion of the immune system itself. Researchers came across a powerful potential solution that could actually take Candida into this monstrous hypha state and convert it back to its far easier to treat yeast state. Let's go into the public release title called Researchers Treat the Fungus Among Us with Non-Toxic Medicinal Compound in the citation title so you can further your studies on this. It goes, Gymnemic Acids Inhibit Hyphal Growth and Virulence in Candida Albicans, published September 2013. This is what happened. The researchers knew that they weren't the first to discover the antifungal properties of Gymnus Silvestro. But what they did discover is how it works. And they discovered it worked fast. And to the researchers' words, this is exactly what they said. They said, the researchers found the compound works quickly which was an important characteristic. Why, you may ask? Because from candida in a yeast form can actually convert to this nasty hypha form, meaning it begin to take roots in the immune system in under 30 minutes or less. Meaning they found that the gymnemic acids can actually begin to do the job with under a half hour or 30 minutes per se. And to continue forward, this is what they said. The candida albicans fungus also makes a biofilm. This biofilm is kind of where they circle the wagons. In the words, which is a fungal cell collection that can be difficult to treat. The researchers found that the gymnemic acid compounds converted the biofilm back to treatable yeast cells. So it kind of busts it up. It makes it easier, far easier for you to take care of. Potentially, a person could take care of it much easier on their own as opposed to the pseudo hypha or hypha state where the wagons are circled and the fungus is embedded in the system itself. So it embeds it, so to say. And to move forward, goes, this compound prevents the biofilm formation because the hyphae are the major builders, hyphae, I should have said, major builders of biofilms, and biofilms are resistant to antifungals. Again, like circling the wagons. So yeast cells by themselves cannot make biofilms and are sensitive to antifungal treatments. So it kind of takes this evolution of these three morphological states of candida from basically yeast, yeast then converting to pseudo-hypha, then to basically hypha state, and reverts it back to hypha, pseudo-hypha, and then back to yeast state, which then you, you or whatever can evict it from the body itself. Now, as an added side note, you think gymnemic acid, you hear, oh my gosh, this must be dangerous somehow. No. Listen to the, what the researcher said, and this is exactly the words. They go. The gymnemic acid compounds are non-toxic, which is especially important for cancer patients and other immunocompromised people. That was their words, non-toxic. The gymnemic acids can stop the unwanted invasive infection while preserving important healthy cells. Also, the researchers said it just didn't work for candida. It worked with asparagillus also and other fungal elements too, where it can bust up that file biofilm and bring it to a lot easier to treat form. In this case, candida from a hypha state to a yeast state. Now, keep in mind, fairly simple, fairly common. And the gymnos silvestra, which I'm talking about, a lot of you may recognize from diet aids or blood sugar control issues. Yes, it is that common element itself. So, hopefully a little further research on a non-toxic substance, especially being what? 88% of fungal infections are candida form in what's called um, hospital setting. I'm not going to use non soco word because it's a little confusing for some people. It is basically phenomenal and definitely needs to be looked at a little bit more in detail because it actually has the potential to save thousands of lives. A major complication in cancer therapy is fungal infection, especially from cancer.
candida, which can result in up to 30 to 50% fatality rate on its own. So again, I hope this helps somewhat. We're off to our channel. And thank you very much for listening, and I really do hope this helps. Thank you.